Fun with Roman Numerals, written by David A. Adler. Write your age on a sheet of paper. If you wrote 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12, you wrote your age using Arabic numerals. There's an older system, there's an older number system, a very different number system that people still use, Roman numerals. If you wrote your age 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12 in Roman numerals, you would write V, I, 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 X, 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 I, or X, I, I. In Roman numerals, I means one, I, I means two, and I, I, I means three. In many modern books, Roman numerals are used to number some pages or to number the chapters. In the book that uses Roman numerals to number its chapters, Chapter I would be the first chapter. Chapter V would be the fifth chapter. In Roman numerals, V means five. The numbers on many watches and clocks are written in Roman numerals. If the hour and minute hands of a clock both point to XII, it's 12 o'clock. In Roman numerals, X means 10 and XII means 12. Many sport events, including the football championship called the Super Bowl, are numbered using Roman numerals. Super Bowl XLV is the 45th Super Bowl. Super Bowl. In Roman numerals, L means 50 and XLV means 45. There are 10 digits in our num number system. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. There are seven basic number symbols in Roman numerals, I, V, X, L, C, D, and M. In Roman numerals, I equals 1, V equals 5, X equals 10, L equals 50, C equals 100, D equals 500, and M equals 1,000. In our number system, in our system, the same numeral can have different meanings. The number 2 by itself means 2. The number 2 in the number 26 means 20. The numeral 2 in the number 264 means 200. In our system, our system uses the position of numerals to show value. When the position of a numeral in our system changes, its value changes. Roman numerals are used differently. The value of a Roman numeral never changes. I always means 1. V always means 5. X always means 10. Roman numerals use addition and subtraction to write numbers. In Roman numerals, the same numeral is repeated one after the other. The numbers, the numerals are added. One means one, or I means one. I, I means one plus one or two. I, I, I means one plus one plus one or three. X means 10. X, X means 10 plus 10 or 20. X, X, X means 10 plus 10 plus 10 or 30. C means 100. C, C means 100 plus 100 or 200. C, C, C means 100 plus 100 plus 100 or 300. In Roman numerals, when a larger number is followed by a smaller number, the numerals are added. XVI means X plus V plus I, 10 plus 5 plus 1, 
or 16. In Roman numerals, C, L, I means C plus L plus I. 100 plus 50 plus 1. C, L, I means 151. In Roman numerals, C, C, L, X, V, I, I, or C plus C plus L plus X plus V plus I plus I, or 100 plus 100 plus 50 plus 10 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1 means 265. In Roman numerals, when a smaller number is followed by a larger number, the smaller number is subtracted from the larger number. If the larger number is no more than 10 times the smaller. In Roman numerals, IV means I less than V, or 1 less than 5. IV means 4. It's easy to understand how this works if you think about buying something that costs four cents. You pay a nickel, five cents, and get a penny, one cent, and change. In Roman numerals, IX means I less than X, or I less than 10. IX means nine. It is easy to understand how this works if you think about buying something that costs nine cents. You can pay a dime, 10 cents, or get a penny, and get a penny in change. In Roman numerals, CX means C less than, or X less than C, or 10 less than 100. XC means 90. It's easy to understand how this works if you think about buying something that costs 90 cents. You can pay a dollar and get a dime and change. In Roman numerals, XLIX means X less than L plus I less than X or 10 less than 50 plus 1 less than 10. 40 plus 9. X-L-I-X means 49. In Roman numerals, when you write 49, first you write the Roman numeral for 40. Then you write the Roman numerals for 9. X-C-I-X means X less than C plus I less than X or 10 less than 100 plus 1 less than 10, or 90 plus 9, XCIX means 99. In Roman numerals, when you write 99, first you write the Roman numerals for 90. Then you write the Roman numerals for 9. Look at this one. CMXCIX means C less than M plus X less than C plus I less than X, or 100 less than 1,000 plus 10 less than 100 plus 1 less than 10 or 900 plus 90 plus 9. CMXCIX means 999. In Roman numerals, when you write 999, first you write the Roman numerals for 900. Then you write the Roman numerals for 90. Then you write the Roman numerals for 9. C can only be subtracted from D or M. Only I, X, C, and M can be subtracted. V, L, and D cannot. And I can only be subtracted from B or X. X can only be subtracted from L or C. You can use coins to help you practice writing Roman numerals. Take three pennies, one nickel, three dimes, one half dollar, three dollar coins, and some small blank sticky labels. C 
stick a label on one side of each coin. You will probably have to cut the labels so that they just cover the coin. Write I on each of the penny labels. Write V on the nickel label. Write X on each of the dime labels. Write L on the dollar label. Write C on each of the dollar coin labels. Do you know why you took just three pennies, three dimes, and three dollar coins? In Roman numerals, you don't need more than three consecutive I's, more than three consecutive X's, more than three consecutive C's. You would not use four I's when writing four. You write four as IV. Do you know why you took just one nickel? and just one half dollar? There is no Roman numerals with more than one consecutive V or more than one consecutive L. You would not use two Vs to write 10. You write 10 as X. You would not use two Ls to write 100. You write 100 as C. Lay the coins on the table with the label sides down. Select the coins that together are 26 cents. Now place them in the proper order to write 26 with Roman numerals. Now turn the coins over so that you can see the Roman numerals. Put the Roman numerals in the proper order to write 26. XXVI Select the coins you would use to make 24 cents. You can make 24 cents with the coins you have. You can make 25 cents and get one cent, cha cent change. Select the coins to do that. You have, have you noticed that you selected the same coins to write 24 as you selected to write 26? Put the Roman numerals in the proper order to write 24, XXIV. Use the coins to help you write 38 in Roman numerals, XXVIII. -I. Use the coins to help you write 54, 59, 75, 106, and 350. You can write 5,000 and other large nu numbers in Roman numerals. The bar on top means thousands. 5,000, 10,000, 50,000, 100,000. You can write even larger numbers in Roman numerals. The open box means 100,000, 500,000, 1 million. Be on the lookout for Roman numerals. Once you look for them, you may be surprised at how often you see them on clocks and books and on the sides of buildings. It's fun to read the number. It's fun to read and write numbers in Roman numerals.